add the stop watch. Okay, I will give you one random question. Let's go with this one. Describe a natural place. Example, park, mountains, likewise. So this is a cue card topic. Let's go with this one. Your one minute of preparation time is starting right now. Okay, let's start. Uh, okay. Uh, in the modern uh, hustle bustle uh, uh, days, uh, we are like to visit uh, natural places like uh, some parks, mountains, uh, like that, so on. Uh, yeah, in our holidays. Uh, uh, apart from that, uh, today I would like to uh, talk in about the uh, Adam speak. Uh, we uh, in uh, Sri Lankan people calls that Sri Pada. Uh, so, um, uh, furthermore, uh, uh, in a grade uh, when I was young, uh, in a grade six uh, uh, school child, uh, I learned. Uh, the, I learned uh, hmm, about the Adam speak in my history book, my history su as my subject. Uh, so I, at that time, I really like to vis uh, visit uh, for that place. Uh, so I uh, 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 this place. Uh, uh, so uh, I really like that because uh, it is uh, near for my uh, uh, birthplace. Uh, so it is very uh, it it is a mountain like full of nature. So uh, in the uh, May to December, uh, sorry sorry December to May, most of uh, Buddhist people, Buddhist and uh, Muslims peoples uh, are uh, worshipped uh, for their uh, uh, so so because of natural beauty I really like that uh, on the whole uh, so uh, I really like to visit uh, for uh, that uh, season of uh, uh, May to December okay uh, good enough uh, because you have covered your two minutes Okay, Tarangi. So, great job, anyhow. How do you feel about this question? This is one new question. Was it a little bit hard for you or quite easy? Uh, no, sir. I, it, it's uh, not too hard, but uh, I think that, that, that it's first time in the natural place. Uh, I want to realize what, what is the place that Adam uh -huh. speaks it, uh, in my mind. Uh, uh -huh. That's why... Okay. Talk about that. So, what kind of words have you written down within that given one minute of time? Any keywords? Uh, the Adam speak, uh -huh. uh, grade six a history, a history book, uh -huh. uh, full of natural uh, climbing, uh, the May to December season. Uh -huh. um, uh, I want to visit again. Okay. Good level of keywording anyhow when considering your answer the main problem was throughout your all of the ideas you showed some effort to explain all those ideas like you're putting extra effort this uh sound the filler sound and sometimes let the pauses so those are the main problems when it's coming to fluency and coherence just try to practice continuously and sometimes you have some issues with gather your ideas um, you have ideas, but still when it's coming to gathering ideas and explaining English, you took some extra time to gather ideas. So that should not happen. Naturally, it should be able to gather ideas and explain. So these are the main problems. And when considering this topic, describe a natural place. So you explain about the Adam speak. So it's fine. But um, you consume your two, entire two minutes time for explaining about um, you wanted to visit this place from your childhood and you just mentioned it's one natural place but you never mentioned what kind of things are there maybe some waterfalls or maybe some maybe you can say biodiversity some animals so what kind of things we can experience while we are going to this place 
what kind of nature in there so that should be little bit highlight i believe it's not compulsory but if uh, highlighting that one this part describe a natural place this word of natural will be covered by highlighting that part understand okay okay sir so I, that's a little bit i believe it's possible if possible it's good but apart from that nothing wrong anyhow good effort okay tarangi okay thank you sir okay welcome let's go with Pasindu, if you are able to talk with me now, I can give you a chance, otherwise I'll give you... Ah, okay. Okay, I'll give you another question. Maybe the sixth one. Uh, no, let's go with something else. Easy one. Okay, this one. Describe someone you know who made a good decision recently. Okay, Chaturanga? Okay, then okay. one minute of preparation time is starting right now. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, actually, I don't know such kind of a person who made a good decision, but I know that I made uh, one a good decision. Uh, which is, I was going to do a combat, but how I managed to be able to do the science because I changed my decision to do science. So I started uh, my career as a biological student. Then I continued my career as a biological student. So most of the time I would like to do chemistry as a subject. So after that, I chose chemistry over the biology. Then I selected to the university. So after that, I got a chance to, to select to the chemistry honesty to program in my university so i think that is the biggest task that i have ever done in my in my life uh, also i met some good friends during my chemistry lab period uh, most of the time we had a way of time while we watching movies and also we go some places very beautiful uh, as far as i know and i think that's the one of the decision that changed my life uh, also, I like to continue my study in the future, chemistry as my subject. Uh, I hope to go for the growth of having PhD. So that this is the one of the main reason that's why I'm doing analytics. I'm also too. So I think still I feel like a dog with two tails because of the made such kind of a great decisions in my life. Okay, good answer. One minute and 43 seconds. Little yeah. bit less, but good answer. Okay, Chaturanga, how do you feel about this one? I think you are joining with one session after a while, right? After maybe a few months, I guess. I see, let's shut me late. Anyhow. Um, yes, sir. Ah, yeah, there. Ah, no. Sir, I have a question. Yes, yes, person. Sir, this first version is going to similar with the final version of my carbo. Yes, but not exactly. The thing is, this persuasion is happening because um, they are gathering some questions which come into IELTS exam in these days. So they have gathered up to this number of questions which, which they can find out as newer questions. But when it's coming to final version, they will gather all of part three questions properly. So they will do some adjustments. But mostly when it's coming to the cue cards, they are, don't have much more adjustments when it's coming to the final version. But in part three, they will adjust some questions. They will add few more questions. Sometimes they may be reduce some questions. So final version will be the final cut of or maybe final version of this Makage book. But only thing is when it's coming to cue cards, they may have few more cue cards, but they will not reduce any cue card from here. Okay, kind of a direct cut. Yes, that's yes. it. Okay, thank okay, you very much. Okay, so after a while you join me the session, how do you feel? But I feel like you have practiced continuously. Mm -hmm. Yesterday started thinking. Mm -hmm. But anyhow, you have the same fluency which you had earlier after maybe before few months, right? Yes, sir. Hmm. It's good thing for some. So you have... that's why the reason. Ah, that's good. So there's nothing wrong, like um little bit fluency errors, it's totally fine. You can read off that one and you apply high level of vocabulary, so that's good thing. So good thing, Pasindu. I don't have anything to explain, just practice continuously, okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Let's go with, I think Utpala was the one who joined after Pasindu. Utpala, are you there? Yes, sir. 
Now, shall I give one question to you? Okay, sir. Okay. Let's go with the next one. Describe a place where you have taken photos more than once. This is your question, okay? Then uh, one minute of preparation time is starting okay. right now. Okay, let's start. When I was I was stayed in Rajangan Irrigation Engineer's Office, I uh, I had to uh, many chances go to the uh, Rajangan uh, main uh, major reservoir. Uh, it is situated in uh, Anuradhapura district from uh, 30 kilometers away from the Anuradhapura. Uh, I uh, most of the uh, times I I had I went the, the that place. Uh, uh, I had uh, many photos the Rajanga reservoir uh, because I like very much that place. Um, it is the major reservoir and uh, it has a very large spill uh, spill and uh, it has uh, thirty radial gates. Uh, it is the very uh, fantastic design in irrigation department. Um, I stayed that place uh, six years, so I have uh, many photos uh, that resource. Uh, this resource uh, surrounded by uh, very huge rocks, uh, rocks, uh, and uh, here, uh, around the huge uh, trees also, uh, and uh, it is. Uh, very uh, amount of uh, water pool pool of amount of water. Uh, there are two two sluices uh, around uh, this uh, reservoir. Rajangana LB uh, sluice and RB sluice. Uh, uh, the nature is very uh, beautiful. Uh, okay, good enough. You have covered your two minutes. Um, when considering you are actually a good answer, but um, you little bit hesitate at the last part of your answer just to explain your idea. But coherent answer, I mean, coherent ideas were there. Was it little bit hard for you or easy for you? Utpala? Easy, but I didn't practice. Uh, you cannot practice because <laughs> this is because a new question. Last... <laughs> this is a new question. No, no, I didn't practice the last two weeks or Ah, anything. okay. After the classes, you never practiced? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. That should not happen. Anyhow, um, I cannot exactly say what kind of band score you have right now because just one cue card I given. And just practice continuously just to um, enhance your fluency, okay? Okay, sir. Thank okay. you, sir. Okay, welcome. Um, here today I'm not going to evaluate your answers. I just need to give some space for you to practice. So let's go with next one. I think next one will be Iresha. Yeah, Iresha was the one who joined after Pala. Iresha, are you there? Yes, sir, I'm there. Okay, let's go with the next question, whichever it is. Describe the tourist attraction that very few people visit, but you think is interesting. I think this is the second time I'm giving this one today to someone. Let's go with this one. Your one minute of preparation time is starting right now. Okay, let's start. Uh, I think uh, there are so many... Uh interesting places in our country uh, so now i i am going to tell you about the uh, beach in in, in uh, beach near my hometown uh, it is payagal beach uh, I, uh, I i have seen so many uh, tourists in in, uh, in that place uh, because um, I think uh, that views are out, outstanding. Uh, that is why uh, it, it is uh, pulled in so many stories. Uh, but um, at that time, I saw 
there are a uh, few few local peoples in that region actually i can't understand uh, He was too outstanding. Uh, mm -hmm. As a lesson, uh, there are uh, some fishermen also were there. Uh, uh, I saw a uh, lot of tourism, tourism at that beach, and uh, they enjoy and uh, they. Uh, they have got a lot of fun at that there. Mm -hmm. But uh, our local people uh, don't like to visit there and uh, they would like to go to another beach. Okay, good enough. You have covered your two minutes anyhow. So was it easy for you or hard for you? Sir, I was unable to uh, uh, get a list of uh, keywords. Uh -huh. I felt that because at the in the meantime, there were some connection issues as well. I couldn't hear you properly at some points. But anyhow, when it's coming to this question, describe a tourist attraction, which means touristic place that very few people visit, but you think is interesting. It means little, I, I mean, kind of, place which is not much popular but is still some tourists are coming there just to um, experience that place but you also think that place is interesting simply you have to highlight what kind of interesting things are there and as it is asking some tourist attraction you can mention that one as you mentioned earlier so you can explain about the beauty of that place so little bit you can key, put some keyword on that as well if you're explaining about some remote uh, beach you can explain about the biodiversity or maybe the type of fish which we can see on that beach or maybe type of activities or maybe the nature of waves in that beach or maybe kind of things you can explain understand okay sir hmm. okay uh, i prefer if you can do that one and send me back to my whatsapp i will evaluate again just have some good keywords and send me back okay Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. Let's go with next one. We should have ah, Chandima. Hello, sir. Yes, Chandima. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, good. Let's go with next one. Um, this is quite same. This kind of questions are there. Let's go with something else. Okay, let's go with this one. Describe an interesting place you have been to with a friend. Okay, quite easy question. Then you one minute of preparation time is starting right now. Okay, let's start. Okay, we meet multitude of friends in our life journey who always assist us to achieve our pinnacle of success uh, because of their immense support and here I would prefer to describe about one such intriguing person whom I have met during my life journey who always assisted me to achieve my goal who's none other than Udesha a nursing officer by profession. Moving on Udesha is not just my friend but also my roommate whom I have met during my college life. So on the very first day to the college, we stuck up in a deep conversation and she described me regarding her life journey. And thereafter, we always uh, learned, learned, engaged in academic activities together and she was the person who always motivated me. And whenever I'm in a dilemma, I was in a pickle about uh, medical jargons. And when I wanted to clarify something related to my academic activities, I always sought her support and she was always assisted me. Besides that, I sometimes um, amazed by the hours she put into practice for her academic activities. And thereafter, I also imitated her behaviors and we sometimes burn the midnight oil as well. And thereafter, 
at the end of the nursing school uh, i was able to obtain the win, obtain the first place uh, of the interim examination as she always kept motivating me and thereafter i secured a job at a reputed hospital in the government and all these were due to the sheer determination and the commitment by udesha uh, in a nutshell i'd prefer to say that uh, without her my journey never be impossible and i suppose that each and every person in the world would need such genuine friends who always support to our career okay good enough we exactly covered two minutes of time um okay okay so let's get into the business how do you feel about this question was it hard for easy easy okay i suppose that i have covered all the parts mm -hmm. and uh, yes okay so have you followed these sub questions these questions just to cover your idea or what was the procedure just to arrange your idea uh, yes i have write down some keywords related okay. to this which person who what uh -huh. what time i have met her and so on can you tell me the keywords exactly what you have written down okay uh, friends assistas mm -hmm. and pinnacle of success udesha mm -hmm. my roommate mm -hmm. uh, deep conversations mm -hmm. uh, enhance our camaraderie Mm -hmm. dilemma okay medical jargons and so okay That's so all. okay i will give some points on your answer when considering your answer very fluent nothing wrong with that 100% fluent as well as you applied very high level of vocabulary for explaining your ideas there wasn't any mm -hmm. grammar mistakes as well um, and clear pronunciation everything is fine so if i am going to give some marks under fluency and coherence lexical resources grammatical range and accuracy and pronunciation definitely you will get higher marks under your fluency and your lexical mm -hmm. resources grammatical range and accuracy as well as pronunciation but only one part missing here coherent fluency and coherent mm -hmm. that coherent mm -hmm. part little bit questionable because the problem is just try to understand the topic describe an interesting place so you describe about your interesting friend, friend instead of the place you have to highlight this uh, 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 <laughs> good yes i am missed yeah 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 topic this i thought that topic. i have to explain about a person who assisted mm, me to no. achieve my goal that's why in our paid classes also always i am saying try not to rely on these sub questions sometimes these sub questions are little bit tricky instead of that you mm. have to based on this main topic you have to understand the main topic describe an interesting place you have been to with the friend so you can explain your friend exactly but you have to highlight this part so mm -hmm. this is the part missing in your answer uh, yes so if <laughs> one exam yes if one exam evaluate you definitely you will get higher marks under your fluency grammatical range uh, lexical resources and pronunciation but you will lose marks under your coherent obviously you will lose marks under fluency and coherence mm -hmm. as it is coming under one marking criteria so that was the problem which i have found out that nothing is mm -hmm. understand <laughs> yes <laughs> okay fine fine good anyways okay, good, thank good you. Effort. okay fine uh okay i think we almost covered everyone ah new member joined sanduni are you in a position to take your cue card question or what's the thing going on with you are you busy right now Okay, it seems that's all then. Fine. So I will upload this into YouTube. Just listen back to your own answers just to find out some problems or mistakes if there is anything. Because today I never even evaluate your answers. I just given some random ideas based on what you have told. Uh, just listen back to have some proper evaluation, proper self-evaluation and find out exact mistakes like the mistakes or effort which you are putting. So it will be beneficial for you mostly by tomorrow morning i will upload this one into youtube and share in the main group so you can watch back then as tomorrow will be friday tomorrow also most probably there will be one free session at four o'clock if there will not have any bad weather condition i will leave one message in the group just like today then we'll meet again to get tomorrow in the uh, pre session till that have a good day to everyone thank you thank you
थैंक यू सर थैंक यू वेरी मच सर